Before we start going and grabbing stuff from the internet, which is basically the, the Pokemon data that we want to get at, I want to add in a little bit uh, to the body here. So right now we have this, you know, flex one with the header, and the header is really just taking up the the top space here, right? Nothing is sitting inside this body right now. We want to have something there. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to uh, add in a little render function, and this is going to render between. Uh, like a loading screen for when you're trying to search for Pokemon and it's loading up and then also um, and which would also serve as like a waiting screen and then also obviously the screen that shows and displays all the data so we can call this render body and call that function and then we're going to make this function right here and we'll say render body make this an ES6 arrow function right like this and inside this render body we can just say uh, we're, we're gonna make a new state first actually uh, property called on call which uh, basically the reason why I'm calling it on call is because um, you know we're going to be calling data from a server online and we want to specify whether or not we are currently calling to that data or you know is that data already like on our device we have to we have to specify basically to cycle between like a loading screen and non loading screen so all we got to do in here is make an if statement. So if this dot state dot on call, and the reason why I don't have to specify, I don't know if I mentioned this before. If I don't have to, the reason why I don't have to specify if this dot state on call equals true like this is because anytime um, something is true and you just say if this like this, um, it's gonna it's gonna run true. The, this if statement's gonna run true. Hopefully you picked that up in JavaScript, but just in case you didn't, I just want to make sure that's clear. All right, so in here we're going to return something, and you know, assuming you know it's false, else we want to return something else. Now, the two things we want to return are going to uh, be uh, their own components. So let's go ahead and start making those right now. The first one we can just add to our source file right here, and we will call this Pokey Loader, like that. And we can go ahead and just start writing out our boilerplate, boilerplate React code. Import view and text from React Native. If you guys are just copying and pasting this stuff in, that's probably fine too. But sometimes it helps to really write this out because you're going to be writing, you're, you're going to be like using this for every component. So it's just helpful to, to kind of know how to write this out. So class pokey loader extends react dot component and then you want to put the render function in here and we are going to return some stuff basically right now we're just gonna fill this with some view tags and then just say inside the text here we are loading and then export this out export default pokey loader and then the next one we want to make uh, we will call this guy so we, we can actually import this in first import pokey loader like this from dot slash src no wait before we do at dot slash src uh, we are inside our search component right now which is at the same level as pokey loader so we don't need to go into source we can just say dot slash pokey loader like this and we'll go right here and just say pokey loader if it's true or if if we're on call if we're trying to call data we just want to have a loader there um, and we're not done yet so I'm going to write this next one out now uh, we can call this one search body so you know kind of generic names I could probably come up with better names than this but uh, this is fine for what we're doing I'm actually just gonna copy all this code so we're not writing it all out but feel free to you know uh, really write it out uh, if you're trying to, you know, kind of memorize that process. And in here, let's just change the name of the component to search body. Search body like this. And then inside here, say uh, this is search data. So whatever's coming back. And we'll save that. And inside here, we'll go ahead and import just like we did for the Pokey Loader. We'll say import search body from dot slash search body just like that and then place it down here inside the return for 
this part of our function. Now if I save this and run it, everything should be fine. And it says we are loading right here. Uh, if I were to set call to false, so we have our data, it just got returned from the server, this is search data. So now we have our components nicely divided up for that reason, and we will continue on with the rest of this in the next video.